What's going on everybody? My name is Barney and welcome back to the weekly forum scroll number 12 and we've got a ton of news to talk about in this week. So the thing I didn't talk about is Renegade Line News number 24 3.0 uh, and that's this picture and it looks pretty cool in my opinion. The weed farm is a little bit uh, bright since it's other than uh, the, the, the footage and uh, yeah, that's basically it. Other things look pretty cool. We've got a sniper spot over there in the left. Uh, we've got a well, some trees, a wooden cart, which, which we saw in the guessing game. And uh, yeah, some logs over here, and that's basically it. Further, I don't see any things interesting to talk about. Uh, except for this bucket. For some reason, uh, I scratch mentioned on the forums and on Mean Speeds video, if we have seen the bucket uh, or something like that. So maybe it's... Uh, an inside joke in the uh, Raw Vengeance team that someone designed the bucket and it was way too small. They laughed at him and just kept it into the game because it was an inside joke or something like that. I don't know, man, but it's pretty small. You can barely see it. I don't know why it's that small, but still. Um, that's basically it for the picture. Nothing much. Then we've got the Q&A. Pretty informative Q&A. I heard that uh, uh, the developers didn't think it was that uh, big of a deal. In my opinion, they should have been a little bit less of a meme machine. They were throwing one minute of memes to us. It was a little bit unprofessional. Of course, I know that they're people of my age as well. And maybe even younger. A lot of them are even younger than me. So, um, of course, uh, they're not, uh, they're sti they still want to show that they're uh, fun developers and uh, stuff. But in my opinion, one minute of m more information would be fine instead of... Uh, the memeing. <laughs> so, uh, with that being said, uh, we are going into the forums, immediately into the art section, since all of you already know this probably, uh, since you uh, already watch other YouTubers, I think, for Renegade Line, since there's not a lot of uh, videos going around on Renegade Line. But if you want to create weapon skins, we've got all of the guns till now uh, over here. So, this is the machine gun for the Royals, pretty basic, reminds me of the basic one in Battle of the Heroes, <clears throat> a little bit more polished. I And this is the reason why I'm going to play a heavy ta uh, tank, I mean a wicked tank, since I enjoy this gun a lot more. This one looks pretty, pretty weird, but that's the reason I'm going to pick it up, I think. I am really interested in how uh, he will handle the gun, how he will uh, have it in his hands. Um, and that's the reason why I'm going to pick this one, and if I uh, gamble wrong, <laughs> uh, if I pick it wrong, it might be a little bit of a shame, but still. Um, then we have the pistols, the one over here looks pretty basic, uh, it's a little bit more textured than the one we have seen so far. The one of the residents, we haven't seen it over here, it will be added soon, TM. But, if we're going into the homepage of Renegade Line, We've got some news over here. Wait a second. Oh, crap. Um, is it over here? It's not over here. Older, maybe? Yes. In the costumes and in the other things, we already saw this pistol. So, we already know how the pistol is going to look like. Uh, a little bit. It's like the Super Harry's hand cannon from BFH. A little bit like that. But... Um, we can't be sure since uh, the wicked one has this one, this gun, but this gun might be for another class, maybe. So uh, we don't know. We don't know. But it's probably going to be something like this. So probably that's what you can expect over here. <clears throat> then we've got the shotguns, this one. It looks pretty basic. It's not that bad, but it's not that good either. But with some skins, it might look decent. Um, then we've got the Wicked ones, it's more detailed in my opinion, looks way better. Um, but still still a bit weird, but I love that, that they're making the things weird. And then the rocket launchers, which, which make me pretty excited. So, um, the <clears throat> LMG already made me want to play the Wickets, but the rocket uh, launcher will make me play it even more. Look, look at the difference, this one is pretty basic, a little bit of white with uh, iron and wood. And this one is fully iron with some red thingies on it. It looks way cooler in my opinion. Um, 
The design is almost the same, but uh, it looks a little bit more uh, from iron over here. It's uh, it's a little bit more factory made instead of this one. It's a little bit more uh, with the wood and stuff, and that makes the difference in my opinion. Uh, that's why I'm going to play Wicked in on the tank class at least. Now we've got the SMG for the residents. Pretty basic, pretty small, but. I think they will texture it uh, over and over and over again till it looks better uh, in the beta, of course. And then we have all these things like the sniper rifles, the knives, and the wickets SMG, which will be added soon. So if you want to make skins, you can click uh, over here uh, for these things to get green screen thingies. Um, but still, we're going into some skins which have been made. Uh, Lampa, or something, I don't know how to call it. Made a sandy trick uh, pistol, and it's basically a desert pistol. And they, uh, he wants to uh, create something for a desert map or something uh, like that. So I think he, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, man, but it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I love the work he put in it to it, and uh, with, that's with all his things. He puts a lot of work in it. That's uh, what I respect. So uh, skin tutorial, I will skip that one. Um, you can watch it on your own if you want to make skins. Then Morse, which is a pretty brand new designer since this week on the Renegade Line forums. And he made some awesome skins till now. Uh, so we've got the Rocket Launcher Striker. I thought this one was for the Royal... Uh, fuck me. <laughs> for the Wicked... <laughs> for the... Residents. Yes, for the Residents. It's pretty cool. I don't know why these puppets over here are there. Like... Okay, it doesn't really zoom in, but still these red... Puppets, or however you want to call them. I don't know why it's there. I love the background uh, though, but it's it's awesome. It reminds us on, of the plane, like this one, which is uh, an inspiration for the skin. Then we have the pistol acid blast. It it could look better in my opinion. It's it's an awesome concept, and um, yes, it's an awesome concept. Uh, it could be better, but it's pretty decent already. Um, now we've got the Christmas skin, which I absolutely love. I absolutely love this one. I, I don't know what to say. The only thing which could be different are some patterns on the iron of the gun. But I love the wooden part already. That's pretty cool. So that's basically it for his skins. Then we have uh, Soviet sneaks. I haven't seen this one. Oh, he made a weapon. Just a weapon. It looks pretty okay. Pretty basic. Would fit into the game. Uh, yeah. That's pretty cool. And then we have Genius with some other skins, of course. Um, let's see, he's got the Pistol Lonely Quick Cat, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Nothing to say about it. I already love the wooden part, which is blue. And uh, yes, it's it's pretty detailed, it's pretty cool. And then the Rocket Launcher Orange Warren. I honestly don't know what the text over here means. If it's Al Akbar, I'm just fucking done, man. <laughs> I'm fucking done. If that's it, um, but I love the I love the uh, concept of it, orange worn, yes. And then we also have the deep ocean. I haven't shown this one. I think also a pretty cool gun. I love it. And that's basically it for his skins. Um, now we're going into uh, more of a bit of the Q and A part. Um, I haven't talked about all of the Q and A since I think it's pretty self-explanatory. What I think, uh, not what I think about it, but but what's being implemented into the game. I'm not going to uh, say everything what they have said. I think I'm a bit zoomed in. No, I'm not. Okay. Um, so we're going into the general discussion. Uh, there were a lot of people who actually were uh, discussing about re the revivability for the spotter. So uh, the spotter will be able to heal and help his teammates and also revive them. So a lot of people were already against the idea I, when I first heard it, I was against the idea immediately. I thought, like, when you're dead, you're dead. Um, it goes on the scoreboard. But if we're going to be a little bit open about it... Mm, you know, I we don't know how it's going to be implemented. We only heard that he can revive. So wh what made me think uh, about it better in a positive way is... Um, are we going to spawn immediately after we die at the last flag? Or do we have to wait 20 seconds or something like that uh, to respawn? 
If we have to wait 20 seconds till we respawn, then I think reviving will be a really bad idea, since it will be way too overpowered and um, then not, not too overpowered, of course, they can uh, nerf some things about it, <clears throat> but then it will be really strong, really, really strong if you can revive like the carry of your team. Secondly, if uh, you spawn immediately at your latest flag. I think it's a very good addi addition to um, strategically revive your teammates on the right places and maybe you get punished for reviving someone on the wrong place. So, you know, then there's a little bit of skill uh, involved in it. And also, well, I haven't re read the whole thread since there was a lot of uh, arguing going on and it was pretty boring for me to read. Uh, like there are 71 comments at the moment I've read till the fourth page of something that's like 30 or 40 comments um, but still uh, I thought like we don't know how it's going to be implemented so I have played League of Legends over there we have a champion named Zillion the time master or something like that and um, basically when he puts an effect on, so on someone for like eight seconds and if the person with the effect dies it will uh, it will get revived. So that was an idea for me as well for Renegade Line. So basically, if someone gets the effect uh, and dies, um, then he will get revived. But if the time runs out and he dies uh, on the unluckiest possible timing, then uh, he just got outplayed or having bad luck, and um, the revive would be over. He wouldn't be revived. So we can think about it that way too so we don't know that that's just bringing up the discussion that we don't know how it will be implemented into the game so we can't really uh have an opinion about it right now so if it's the most straightforward you're just going to revive someone um then we also need to know if we respond directly or if we're not going to respond directly so i've been rambling a bit about this one uh, this topic, questionable decisions, is some, some uh, topic I want to discuss in one video because it's very big and very interesting topics. But I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, maybe I'm not even going to make a video about it since uh, maybe the discussion is already over. I don't know. Um, but I love that people are discussing right now. Uh, for example, Duke has been discussing about the extreme terrains, also a big threat. I'm not going to discuss it well, but still, people are starting to discuss on the forums again since uh, we've got new info and that's pretty cool. Like, um, we're going into suggestions. Um, people are talking about the in-game voice chat again. You know, we already had that one, but uh, still. Um, also, class-bound suggestions, also a pretty big topic in my opinion. Uh, not a lot of people have read it, but uh, still. Uh, let's see, weapon suggestions. I've commented on this one. I don't actually know what it's what's in it anymore, but I've commented on it. But I think we're going to uh, do this one as last. Um, <clears throat> okay, so this is just a weapon suggestion, and he created this shotgun. Of these short, he didn't create it. He just um, uh, said like, "I want this these shotguns in the game." But uh, like I said in this th thread, uh, in my opinion, it would be pretty cool if uh, we just got some classic weapons, maybe like these shotguns or something, like the uh, AK-47 uh, or 74. I don't know. I always forget which uh, order it is, or maybe both of them are guns. But uh, to have those in the game and just the standard RPG and the standard uh, LMGs and whatever. Just throw some real guns in it. But also we saw some snipers which were really creative by uh, the developers. Which uh, created quite a bit of controversy, con controversy in the community. But in my opinion those creative ideas are pretty cool for the cartoon shooter type of game. And um, basically that's I think the direction they have to go to. To create their own things with their own stories behind it. And uh, that's like I said over here. Like, meanwhile, uh, I'd love to see some more crazy concept with co concepts with their own stories behind them. Like the sniper rifles. Of course, not every weapon has to be self-made. Uh, but that's what I think uh, about this topic. And uh, if you have another opinion compared to mine, just leave them in the comments. Um, 
And that's basically it for this uh, week. A lot of news instead of threads, sorry for that. A lot of threads have been uh, opening this week. Maybe I'll make another video, I don't know if I have time. But uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Later. Thank you.